I'm going to first restart the computer and on my system, when it's booting up, I need to hit the F2 or delete key. Yours might be something else to get into BIOS. And if I've successfully got into my BIOS, I see a screen like this. Mine's a little fancy because it's a more updated type of BIOS. It's UEFI based. Yours might not look like this, but no big deal. You'll be looking for a similar option. So I'm looking for a more advanced option here. I don't currently have it on my screen. What I see in the bottom right though is F7, the advanced mode. Yours might be something else, but just look around and try to get to your advanced settings where you can see some tabs to select various different settings. And I'm going to the advanced tab on mine. Of course, yours might be in a different location. We're really looking for some sort of CPU configuration tab or setups. If you can't find it, just go through every tab, search for VTX or AMD V or basically any term that mentions virtualization because I want to enable that option. If you can't find it anywhere, it's likely that your system just cannot run a virtual machine because it doesn't have virtualization support. It's probably too old. Most modern computers do support this type of emulation. Again, I'm going down to CPU configuration. So mine gives me a little bit of information about the processor and system information on which I'm running. Below, I'm going to look for different types of modes and read the description below. Once I get to SVM mode, I notice it says enable, disable CPU virtualization. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Again, yours might say VTX or AMD V. Mine says SVM mode. Then I want to select from the dropdown instead of it being disabled, enabled. And then I want to make sure I save and exit. Don't just exit out of BIOS because the settings you just set will not be saved. I'm going over to exit and hitting save changes and reset. Mine's nice because it tells me what I've changed. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to allow the computer to start back up with the new setting enabled. All right. Congratulations on making it through. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.